Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number four. And in this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to bold and italicize, italicize text in HTML. And uh, we're also gonna take a look at uh, comments and the horizontal rule. So uh, the first thing we can do is uh, just delete all this code from the previous tutorial. And now to bold or italicize something, we need to have some text on our screen. So let's go ahead and just put out a paragraph. And uh, this paragraph can just say, this text will be bold and something will be in uh, italics too. Uh, and I see there's a bunch of typos, but we'll just leave them alone. Okay, so if I run this in Firefox now, uh, I'll get a paragraph printed on the screen, but you guys already know that, so I'm not even gonna waste my time showing you. So let's go ahead and bold something first. Okay, so uh, let's say I wanted the word bold to be displayed in bold, uh, like in bold print, then I'd go ahead and I'd start off a strong tag okay so strong uh, in HTML means bold and that means okay we're gonna start bolding everything from this tag until we get to an ending strong tag so let's go ahead and uh, end this off over here and now when we refresh this in Firefox we should get just this word bold in bold print so let's go ahead and save that uh, run in Firefox and as you can see, this text will be bold. Uh, so bold is actually bolded and everything else is normal. And if we want to bold something else, uh, we could go ahead and just put in the strong tag over there and end it off over here. Don't forget the uh, closing slash. So go ahead and save this now. And when we refresh now, just this text has been bolded. So that's cool. Uh, let's take a look at how to actually emphasize something or put it in italics, okay? And I actually just gave you a hint at what the tag is. Um, so we'll emphasize this, these two words, uh, italics too, okay? So to uh, put something in italics, you're gonna go ahead and type in the tag em and then ending em where you would like it to stop okay so this means that the word italics and two are going to be italicized uh, so if we go ahead and we save this now come back to fire flock <laughs> and click refresh um, we now have the words italics two uh, being italicized so that's cool um, now the next thing I said I wanted to talk to you guys about was the horizontal rule. So let's say I had two completely separate paragraphs. Uh, let's go ahead and make one. Um, and this can just say, man, I like making tutorials or something like that for you. Okay, uh, let's say we wanted this to be clear to the user that these are two completely separate paragraphs okay so this would be one and that would be the other and you want to actually divide them with like some kind of a line okay then we've got this tag called the horizontal rule which is actually just hr with a closing slash uh, so similar to the br tag except this one makes a line instead of breaking down a line, okay? So let's go ahead and save this and then we'll uh, go back to Firefox and click refresh. And as you can see, we've got the one paragraph and then we've got this line in the middle which clearly separates these two uh, paragraphs. So we've at least made clear to the user that this is one paragraph and that is another one. That is where we would use uh, this horizontal rule tag um, but there's a whole bunch of other uses for it. I guess you guys will see fit uh, to use it wherever you need. Okay. And the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about 
was comments in HTML. Okay, now comments are basically uh, words that you want the browser to ignore, but still notes that you can see yourself. So uh, let's say I wasn't actually happy with this paragraph and I wanted to change it before I put it up on my website, or maybe I, I thought there were a few typos. Um, then I just want to put a comment here to tell whoever looks at this code after me, or maybe if I look at it in a month's time, just want to leave a note for myself, like check this paragraph here. There might be typos. Okay. I can't just go ahead and write, check this paragraph. There might be typos. Typers. Okay. <laughs> I can't just go ahead and type something like that because when I do that, it shows up in the browser. So the browser is clearly not ignoring it. Um, so if I actually want the browser to ignore these words, but I still want to be able to see them in the text editor, uh, I can go ahead and I have to type in these symbols. So it starts off with uh, the smaller than sign, then the exclamation mark. And then you have to put in, uh, I guess this thing's called a hyphen or a minus sign. Uh, so you have to put two of those in and then you need to go to the end of wherever your comment is and go uh, hyphen hyphen and the greater than sign. Okay, so that is how you make a comment. Uh, and obviously everything in the comment turns green if you're using Notepad++. So then you know where your comment starts and where it ends. Uh, what you saw earlier that uh, all of this was green like that. That means my comment hasn't ended yet and uh, this is all going to be ignored by the browser. So we're not even going to get uh, that stuff showing up if we don't close our tag properly. Let's just go ahead and save this now and click refresh. And as you can see, my comment doesn't show up. Uh, it was right here. Uh, so that's not showing up anymore, but I can still see it here in Notepad++. So I know, okay, I need to check this paragraph. There could be some typos. Uh, so that that's why comments are useful. Okay, so that's actually all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.